Kia ora koutou, and welcome to History at Home. I wonder what you have got at your place that tells you who you are, what your family values, and maybe even who your ancestors were. My name is Sarah Sinclair, and I'm going to introduce you to my home, which is in Kerry's Bay near Port Chalmers, Dunedin. I suppose we should ring the bell. This house was built 30 years ago by my father, my brother Adam. Two builders and lots of dad's mates helped out <coughs> over the school holidays. He was a school teacher. And you'll see we've got lots of boat things, like these portholes. You can actually see through to my mother's oven. That's the kitchen through there. There's paintings of boats more portholes. This is mum's kitchen. It's We call, used to call it the galley because that's what you call a kitchen on a boat. And these really interesting windows. Most of the windows in the house dad found at a scrap dealer's place. And they he found out that they were from a boat called the Aranui, an inter-island ferry. They were covered in paint and he had to take it off and he realised once he did that that they were bronze and they're very thick glass so super well insulated this house. There are models of boats. There's a ship's bow. And one of Dad's favourite things was this ship's telegraph which is the way the bridge where the captain is tells the engine room what he wants the engine to do slow full steam ahead there are some very cool clocks and a barometer because if you are a sailor, you want to know what the time is and you want to know what the weather's going to do. But the best thing is the view, which is right out to tide our heads. You can see the fishing boats and the yachts. And I suppose I'm wondering... What made my father so interested in boats? Now here we have a beautiful old desk. And in this desk, there are all sorts of treasures. And what I'm trying to find for you today is a copy of a newspaper clipping from a place called the Orkney Islands. And I'm going to sit on this chair here. This is a chair called the Orkney Chair. It's a special sort of chair that they make in the Orkney Islands. And I'm going to read to you from this clipping from an Orkney paper. Late Captain Mason's War Experience. Captain John Mason died in his home Morton St. Orla on Thursday. His active career had involved long and arduous life generously spent in the interests of the British Empire. Born in Westray in 1864, Captain Mason joined the Merchant Navy at the age of 16 and served before the mast as cabin boy and able seaman. By self-training, grit and determination, he quickly gained advancement. He obtained his master's and extra master's certificates and eventually commanded several famous sailing ships before transferring to steamships. Captain Mason left the sea to join his family in Australia, where he farmed for a brief period. But in 18, 1914, on the outbreak of war, he re rejoined the Merchant Navy. So he took his whole family back to the Orkney Islands from Australia and he went to sea. 
His ship was sunk during the first year of war in unequal combat with the German raider Karlsruhe and Captain Mason was made a prisoner of war. He was however released and landed at Tenerife on condition that he did not again serve afloat for the duration of the war. On his return to Britain, he underwent special training at the Admiralty and was posted to Havana, Cuba as Vice Consul, a post he held until the end of the war. His duties were concerned with the redirection of Allied merchant ships, the skill and tireless energy with which he pursued this important task were marked by the fact that no ships sailing under the orders of his office were lost by enemy action. There's a really sad bit at the bottom here. An only son also in the Merchant Navy was lost during the Great War. Captain Mason is survived by two daughters to whom all we know them all who know them will extend deepest sympathy and one of those daughters was my grandmother Mary. Thank you for coming and visiting my family home. I really enjoyed sharing the story of Captain John Mason with you. Now take a look around your place. See what treasures you can find that tell you about who you are or what your family values, or even who your ancestors are. Bye-bye, kakite.